We continue our team coverage on the closure of the College of St. Rose. St. Rose President Marsha White spoke with reporters this morning after confirming what News Channel 13 reported yesterday. The college in Albany's Pine Hills neighborhood will close in mid-2024 after more than a century. The decision to close the college was made yesterday by the board. White says it was a last resort after many other options were floated and several programs were cut. When you close the College of St. Rose, you close that pipeline. We're not like any other small private college that provides a service. We're a private college that provides the public good. And that was the reason we were looking for support to continue that road forward. White says uh, among the biggest hurdles, the college could just not effectively overcome the impacts of COVID. Students at St. Rose now face uncertain academic futures while nearby businesses navigate the potential loss of a significant customer base. Tiffany Payton joins us live on the college of uh, the campus of St. Rose with what students and businesses are saying today. Tiffany, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mark and Sabrina. We've been on this campus all afternoon. We spoke with students, but we also spoke with businesses that surround that college. And we quickly learned that the businesses in this area really depend on the student population. And after that announcement, that the school was closing, the school was closing, businesses are now filled with that hard task of filling in the gaps. Now, many of the businesses we stopped into we spoke with them, but they did not want to go on camera. But one business official did, and he had a lot to say. Joe Vanilla, the co-owner of Motor Oil Coffee, says that this was the worst possible outcome for businesses and students at St. Rose. I'll tell you this, it's a 30% difference when students are not here to when they are here. We're expecting a 50% drop when the school closes. We're hoping that city, state, and community leaders to get together and figure out a solution, hopefully to reimagine this campus so therefore this neighborhood can thrive. 